want contactors, there's a couple different components and some of them have more than just these. The first thing is a contactor coil and that can be indicated in this schematic diagram and symbol with the circle. And this one doesn't have a legend, but sometimes it'll have a C and then down in the legend will C equals contactor coil. It also can have a, this little symbol right here that indicates the coil. And also in the, the newer equipment, just like the solenoid valve, that coil is gonna have this symbol as well. So you could have one, two, three different symbols, meaning it's the same part of the contactor, which is the magnetic coil. When you apply power, it opens and closes the switches and contacts in the, in the coil. All right, you got it? All right, so this is, these are our, the, the magnetic coils. These are the contacts or the switches up here that are activated by the coil. So there are two types of contacts that you have on contactors. NO, which means normally open, and C means normally closed. What that means is when there is no power that's applied to the contactor coil, this is what these contacts, the state that these contacts are in. No power applied to the coil. If this is contact one and contact two, it, it's open. And if this is contact three and this is contact four, no power, remember, that's a closed switch and an open switch basically is what you're looking at. No power applied. Now here's where it gets difficult because the schematic diagrams always show you contactors and relays in their resting position, which means no power applied. But when you flip a, the thermostat on and it supplies power to this coil, all of a sudden this normally open contact switch is closed and the normally closed contact switch is open. Now you can't see that on the schematic diagram, so that's where you have to know, who do I have power here at the coil of the contactor? Yes, then mentally you have to close that normally open switch and open the normally closed switch. Does that make sense? Let me do that one more time because I can't see, I can't see your faces to see if you're shaking your head yes or no. And I also can't see the um, question and answer box to see if there's any questions. But when we get done with contactors with just this part, I'll, I'll pop back. If you have any questions up to, up to here so far, um, I'll get those answered before we move on. So let's go over this one more time. Contactor coils. There could be three different symbols. You have to look at your legend to find out what they are. There, then there's the contacts. They're normally open contacts, normally closed contacts. This is the is is how it is diagrammed on your schematics when there is no power applied to the coil and it's at rest. So if you just pulled it off the shelf, disconnected from anything off your truck shelf, this contact here and this contact here are open or that, and that's a switch basically. And this contact here and this contact here are closed. When you ap apply power to any of the coils, however they're designated on the schematic, it changes that normally open contact to, a nor to closed and the normally closed contact to open. So you got to remember that. Don't get confused. That's a hard part about contactors. All right, let me pop back and see if there's any questions so far. All right, so I'm going to pop up the question answer box. Hopefully you can see that question answer box on the right side of your screen. So do you have any questions so far before we move forward? <clears throat> 